Many roads across America have amazing stories of intrigue, ghost tales, true crime, and long lost history scattered along their long abyss. Why am I drawn to this old country road? I feel somewhat akin to this dynamic pathway to head up north, east, or down south. Where farmland surrounded this road, field workers taking care of the crops, and here the trees are hundreds of years old. We have seen the many instances that have happened, stories told of shadows peering from behind the trunks or swinging from the branches. To drive along this road during the day is quite beautiful, like you're driving through the country going back in time. I remember this land along the farms and the river. I have a few of my own stories amongst the many of this very haunted, winding, secretive road. Secretive? Why, yes, this road holds many secrets. I drove this road quite often in the 1990s. Then I got married and left this land going on to live in Colorado Springs for a year, then Germany for seven years. One late night, I headed north on the beginning of 104th and Riverdale Road. I continued down the road for a few minutes. Behind me, I saw bright lights in my rear view mirror. They followed me for a few more minutes. The lights were taller than my car. They headed towards me, closer and closer and closer still. I became a bit worried. I sped up to keep this truck from following too close. I heard the rumble of the engine. The truck slowed its roll and seemed to be giving us some space. Suddenly I heard the truck rumble, speed up and drive up behind me very very fast I become a little angry at first then scared oh my god I thought what the heck is this person thinking at the same time keeping my attention on the road should I pull over I didn't want to go any faster how dare this creep or whatnot try to run me off the road the lights passed right by me, or so I thought. That truck passed right through me and my car. I felt the rush of air go through me. It, it happened very fast, quickly, to spy in front of me. The lights of a large black vehicle sped ahead crazily, ahead of me, and then to disappear into the darkness. The inky of night to return. My heart was fluttering, my breath quick, and a panicked feeling overcame my body. I slowed down, and as soon as I could, I pulled off onto the shoulder. I glanced around and saw that there was no one in sight, not a car to pass. I remember thinking, well, that was crazy. Phantom ghost truck? Did that really happen? As a believer in the paranormal since an early age, I didn't discount what had happened, but I did wonder how and who that could be. I calmed myself down and got my breathing under control. A multitude of emotions ran through me, waves of sadness and grief and anger, fear, well, all sorts of emotions. Always to remember, the phantasmic ghost truck had shown itself to me. As legends are told about this haunted road is the bridge that sits over Riverdale. I wouldn't necessarily want to park on or under this bridge. Counts of strange voices, sounds, and eerie sightings occur on and around this immense concrete mass with its own paranormal stories.
as we head towards this hill with a newly paved street. I remember years ago, this road was dirt. It would be known to be nicknamed Ghost Bride Hill or Jogger's Hill. A bride and a groom were headed to their honeymoon when they get into an accident and the groom survived, but the bride did not. And so she roams up and down this hill, forever searching for her groom. One night a friend and I parked on the dirt hill and sat in the silence. We heard weird noises like groaning, someone sad, but we had an intense feeling come over us. I particularly really wanted to leave suddenly, so we did. Till this day, we believe it was the ghost bride or a jogger who had lost their life. We continue to drive over the hill and turn right to head back onto River Dune. On another night, around Halloween of 1991, I was headed north to drive to a friend's house to pick up a carload of people and go out for the weekend. As I came towards Bride Hill to continue on to Riverdale Road, at the fork in the road, I lost all train of thought. I don't remember anything for the next five to six hours. I don't remember getting here. Why is it dark? How long have I been sitting here? <laughs> I'm serious. Did you get abducted by aliens? I had loss of time, like six hours. Because it was dark. So you're abducted by aliens? I'm pretty sure because I kind of like them, you know. So I woke up and I wondered what happened. And we had heard of stories on Riverdale Road. And I know I lost track of time. And I wasn't crazy or high or drunk or anything. I was on my way to a friend's house. And then we were going to go out that night. And I was so weirded out about the situation that I just wanted to go home. And ever since then, I've just had a feeling and possible flashbacks and some dreams. And a very clear interest in something other than this. So, also, I became very sensitive to, <laughs> even more sensitive than energy around me, even more so than before. It's very strange, and I wanted to tell a story about losing track of time, and it was not just 
couple minutes or why did I pull over and why did I sit here for hours with my car running and wake up not knowing how I got to the spot when this is where this isn't where I started. I believe something happened. I can't prove it. But all that I know is that something happened. Driving on this road, you may or may not experience any of these legends. As far as I know, this historical road of Thornton, Colorado is haunted. The road has been completely paved now. The old farms and mansions of yesteryear are long gone, made into parks or as private property, and probably for the best. Do not pick up a lone hitchhiker that flags you down as you drive. That can be dangerous in these uncertain times. And that might be the ghost of a jogger said to try to make you wreck your car and then disappear. The trees may have shadow people watching you or a large flying creature traveling from tree to tree chasing your car. As a phantom Camaro may come up from behind you or in front of you try to run you off the road or get you into a ghostly chase or the intense phantom truck to rip roar through you driving your car and disappearing this road is not for the faint of heart many make the decision not to ever travel on this road I've asked friends family and some strangers if they have any stories to share about Riverdale Road. Some won't travel on Riverdale at all. Others have no idea about the road. Sticking to main streets, if you have stories linked to seeing shadows or being followed by the phantom car or a dark person appearing in their back seat of their car and then disappearing, leaving a feeling of dismay and goosebumps. And lastly, animals may cross your path on this road. Do you believe in omens? If a fox crosses your path, the creature is reminding you to pay attention to your surroundings and be more aware of messages conveyed to you. A coyote can represent cunning and curiosity, as well as releasing negative energy, such as impatience, selfishness, and greed. You will soon receive good news or fortune if a deer crosses your path. Also, I placed deer whistlers on my truck to ward away the crossing of animals. We drive on country roads all the time. Raccoons teach us to be comfortable with all the aspects within ourselves even the darker side, urging us to let go of our fears and bring in strength, bravery, and courage, as well as bright healing light to guide our way. Wear your seatbelt. Don't go too fast. Stay the speed limit. Watch your deer crossing signs. Honk your horn if you're worried periodically. Don't slam on your brakes or swerve off the road. There are fields surrounding Riverdale Road. Be careful and observant of your surroundings. This is why these stories are told. There have been over 30 incidents on Riverdale Road in the 2000s, not all fatal, but nonetheless to warn motorists, joggers, bikers, truckers, and the lone walker to be wary of this road, for the secrets this road holds cannot always be told but shown. Be wise and stay alive, my rock star friends. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more haunted videos to come, as well as tales from beyond. As always, the story continues. Please comment below a strange, scary story that has happened to you. And also say hi. We would love to hear from you. Be ever careful, stay aware, and travel on a haunted road if you dare.